You know, one of the questions we probably get the most often is, when's a good time to invest? Is it, if the market's doing really well, is that a good time? Or if the market's not been doing well, is that a good time? A strategy I think that's worked a lot for really successful investors is it's always a good time to invest if your time horizon is long term. And so monies that you have that you don't need in the short term, if you can uh, commit to investing it for the long term, it's almost always a good time to, to invest in good, diversified investments in my, in my opinion. The theory about dollar cost averaging is when the market is down, which is really the whole concept of course is to buy low, sell high. So dollar cost averaging encourages folks to do that and allows their monies that are invested when the market's down to buy more shares. So when the market comes up, you own more shares and that's a really a way to improve your returns. And one of the trends that you see about people that haven't done well in investing is they tend to be consistent with their investment philosophy. So for a majority of Americans, that means dollar cost averaging, we do that regularly through 401k plans and some of the most successful folks that we've worked with have just consistently put money away every paycheck through dollar cost averaging into the 401k plan which helps of course buy more shares when the market's down and then of course if the market goes up that's exciting as well. I think an area that we probably could do a better job at as an industry is helping people invest in after they max their 401k plans out in non-retirement investment accounts on a regular basis. So my recommendation there is fully fund your emergency fund take full advantage of your 401ks and your tax favored accounts and then any surplus so above your emergency fund number that you really don't need to for the short term is to take that money and invest it on a regular basis so anytime you have a surplus money just have an investment account that you can dump that money into it. One example that's really been memorable for me is we have a client who's a very successful physician and they've been investing for a long, long time. And back when the market was really performing very, very poorly in 07 and 08 and early 09, like clockwork, we would get checks for sizable amounts in the office in the, in the mail and they just said, Jeff, we'd like for you to invest these monies. So even though it seemed like the financial market was crashing around them, they were committed to their principles of investing while on a regular basis whether the market was up or down. And what's really neat is you kind of fast forward a bunch of years after those catastrophic events of 07, 08, 09, and those monies that invested when the market was at the lowest, when they were consistently and diligently investing, have actually made incredible returns because of course they bought a lot more shares when the market's low. So as the great Warren Buffett says, be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy. One real life example of somebody who has really struggled and it's a good testament to what we want to try to do as advisors, how to do a better job of educating clients is we've had a sample of a lady whose husband passed away. He took care of all the finances and really ran the financial side of their, of their relationship and he passed away at a fairly young age and so she had met with an advisor who was uh, up north and the, the advisor invested in good mutual funds. That wasn't the problem but unfortunately she invested kind of towards the peak of the market in, in 07. And so she lost quite a bit, of course, in 07, lost quite a bit more in 08, and then in early 09, she kind of threw her hands up and sold out. And unfortunately, the advisor recommended that she sell too. She locked in those losses, and so it's really been sad and kind of fascinating from a financial perspective to look back now over the last five or six years where the market's done very, very well. She has, hasn't been invested, hasn't participated, so she hasn't recouped those monies. So I think that the lessons from that really are that we want to do a few things. One is advisors, we've got to really talk to people when the market's doing well or not well, but especially when it's doing well. Remind them that there's going to be times pretty consistently that the market doesn't do well. In fact, over the last 68 years, 48 years have been positive, 20 years have been negative. So that's roughly two years up, one year down. And so we need to let people know that, that the market does go down a lot, but over the long term it's, it's continued to perform fairly well. So we need to educate people that it's pretty normal for there to be these ups and downs and not to to panic. One of the challenges with panicking or selling when the market's down is then you have to wonder when to get back in. And that's obviously even harder to get back in after you've really got it, kind of got kicked in the gut. And so to contrast that, if a client had invested the monies right at the top of the market and stayed invested, it was of course horrible in 07, 08, and early 09. But the rate of return between that period and now, which would be really kind of the worst timing, they actually have made a decent amount of money collectively over that period of time, much, much better than what they would have done if they had done money markets or CDs. So a real good principle that we want to maintain is to not panic and stay invested in, uh, over time and be diversified, but also really understand that when things are going really, really well, we have to kind of get our mindset right, that things are not always going to go great. And when they go down, we just need to be prepared for that psychologically.
And I think the most successful investors are really, really good and the most successful advisors work with their clients to develop a really good sound plan. So kind of in the calm of the storm when things are not necessarily really, really great or the market's not doing really, really poorly is you just have a good plan that makes sense over the long term and stay committed to it. And that's really the way to, to win with money and win with investing.